Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Newsgram. As you know, this program is all about interesting people living their lives in interesting ways. And today I want to introduce you to Ben. His full name is Ben Hill, but he just goes by Ben. Ben is not a rich man. Well, at least not financially. But when it comes to life, he is wealthy beyond the dreams of avarice. And he is a poet. Like the love poetry, the environmental stuff I do. It's for the general population. It's for everyone around. This is all I want to do is cheer people up a little bit. Putting pen to paper for no other reason than to just make people smile. Or to think about simple things in life like a nail or a park fetch. I love that. His new book of poems is called A Voyage of Mystery. Why? It took me to a new world when I was writing it. You know, they say your dreams are a reflection of your waking life. Well, that might explain his inspiration. I'm writing for my sleep. I get up and I can write a poem down in five minutes. And then it's just, just making them little corrections that I know might be wrong. I do actually use a method of dreaming that allows me to remember most of my dreams. No, I haven't really got a name for it. It's like one morning, I woke up, I wrote three poems. In 10 minutes, they were done. I hear this kind of thing all the time from musicians and other artists. It's just how their mind works, and we can all do it. If you don't want to dream about writing poetry, perhaps reading poetry will help you to dream. In my latest work, I've come up with a new world, a world of dream. And in this world of dream, it gives a possibility this is where we go as a second life or third life. It's about the soul, because I believe that we all have a soul whether good or bad, it passes on. And that favors my work. Ben has a unique voice. It's one that is thoughtful and heartwarming. But I think there's a lot more than one you'll smile at, and some you'll laugh at, and some you'll look at and think, ooh, a bit serious. <laughs> this one made me smile. Ben wrote a poem about a park bench and a rusty nail. I mentioned it earlier. Suffering that is reused you know, it's somehow you're getting a double life out of it, rather than just throwing it away. Whether it's an inanimate object or an aging human being, our society is quick to discard things, and I think there's great value in having a second look at pretty much everything we throw away. Whether it's recycling from the source, should it have even been made in the first place, and if so, could it have been made different? Or just keeping an old park bench alive, there's poetic justice in that. Here's Ben with his poem, My Rusty Nail. Bench once sturdy, now so old. Simple friend of memorable stories told. Garden adornment of memories now faded. But no one sat upon important talks persuaded. This year, my mate did collapse. Punished by time, now had enough of that. Nails of frame were nearly all bent brown, but one stood solid, demanded a new crown. Not much to see, but as supported my family for so long. But back to perfection, its importance would continue on. But in what? There was no real choice. A bench part again. This would be nail voice. The inanimate, it is true. Such cannot sing. But in life, small can be the needed thing. Recycling impossible. There should be no enemy. The nail now is support for new generation of family. His book contains 20,979 words. Oddly specific, you might be thinking. He says so online in the show's description. Ben writes about the highs and lows of everyday life. He writes about love, the environment, and many other genres. And I didn't really want to go here, but I think I'm going to. Ben has a love for life that we would all be lucky to emulate. We take so much for granted, especially when you realize that illness has been a constant part of his life. Well, I'm in a wheelchair. So I, I haven't got the freedom most people have got. 
I can't drive. Uh, well, I will show I can, but it's, at four miles an hour, I'm not exactly going fast. And I'll leave you with one last poetic statement before I get too carried away with all my poetic emotions. Ben says, poems flow through me. I know not why, but when offered to the public, you are the voice of their merit. Download a copy and see what you think. A Voyage of Mystery by Ben. Online at Barnes & Noble, Google Books, and Booktopia.com. And yes, we've definitely put links in the show's description to make it easy for you. And that will do it for this poetic edition of Newsgram from webtalkradio.com. Newsgram.